What's going on everybody? Farley here and yeah it's been a long time since I've done a video in which I actually appear and and one that I just discuss, discuss comics. So I want to thank my big bro Angel down in Puerto Rico man he's encouraged me uh, to and his channel is Pages Films and Plastics. I hope I got it right. I always want to say Pages Plastics and Films but I think it's the other way. Anyway Angel's a great guy. I call him my big bro. He calls me little bro. He's been very encouraging. I've gone through some stuff, uh, mostly uh, with some guys I knew from from the army and stuff uh, passing away. Um, one was one was stabbed to death in Haiti. That's a crazy story. Uh, and then I had two in the last six months that died by suicide. And so it's been very tough on me. I've had some other stuff that's you know nothing, nothing major, but it's just kind of accumulated, you know, recently. And so I took some time off, and uh, it's a battle to get motivated to do just about anything work talk you know do videos I used to love doing videos man and it just went all at once so anyway I'm gonna try so I'm gonna do this and again thanks uh, big bro for encouraging me um, I'm not buying a ton of comics right now and I'm not buying anything you know, like any current runs so um, I just got a few comics and a couple slabs I didn't buy them, my buddy did for Christmas for me uh, and then a couple of collectibles, so I'm gonna get right into it if you don't mind. So, uh, first off, let's do let's run through the comics. Uh, big fan of Big Trouble in Little China the movie, as well as a big Kurt Russell fan of just about anything he's ever been in. Uh, and I come across Big Trouble in Little China number one on Boom, come out 2014, and uh, just freaking love everything about it. So I grabbed it. So I'm trying to block the light. There we go. Look at that. If you block the light, it looks a lot better. Bye. And, oh, and that was a Gabriel Hardman cover. I'm not that familiar with, but it's a good cover. It's one of those interlocking where you gotta, you don't have to, but you collect them on and make one big mural. Anyway, uh, this is a blind buy, and I am stoked to have bought it because, number one, I got it because of this cover, but the storyline's awesome. I only got the ones, and so I gotta pick up the rest because it's a, it's a really cool story. Uh, it's on Vault Comics. It's called Plot. Number one, this is the one Angel asked me about. So if you watch this, Angel, this is the one you asked me. It's a horror, like supernatural horror. And that cover, I know it's dark, man, and it's like, it's not, it's a matte finish, but you know, of course the bag reflects the light. But it's a really dark cover, man, but the story inside is cool. So again, if you like horror, and especially like supernatural type stuff, uh, nature horror, whatever you want to call it, good pick up. I definitely bought it just for the cover, and I was so stoked to find out that the story was good as well. That's an Alan Qua cover, and this came out 2019. There are more, and I'm going to get them. Right. Uh, I'm not collecting like newer runs. I don't know what volume this one is, but it came out. This is probably the most recent. 2021 Venom number one. This came out uh, on uh, or not on. Everybody knows. It's Marvel, but the 616 exclusive and comics elite variant. I don't know what that is. I just dig the cover. Uh, Marco Torini cover, which I know a little bit about. Not a ton. But I'm going to tell you, man, as an artist, which I'm not, this would be, this this character would probably be my favorite to draw. Because you can do so many variations. You can make him look nice. You can make him look evil. You can in between. And I just, I just think this would be probably one of the more interesting um, characters in comics to do the art too, in my opinion. But I can't even draw stick. So, uh, I got a Walking Dead number one. Hey, it's not the, <laughs> it's not in the first printing or anything. This was a 2015 uh, Wizard World Portland Comic Con variant cover by Steve Lieber. I'm not familiar with him, but I do dig that cover. I really, there's not a ton of the Walking Dead covers I don't enjoy. But uh, yeah, so everybody knows about Walking Dead, but this was a Wizard World, Portland Comic Con. I got all notes where I forget. Exclusive. What the, it's, it kills me like, I don't know, how many of these, does anybody know that? How many of these were they printed if it's just for the Comic Con? Like, could it only be sold there and then, or bought there and then sold, of course, on eBay and the rest of the world? It's just weird. Uh, this is probably my favorite storyline that's come out in the last 10, 20 years. Uh, 
Dark Knight's Metal. There's also uh, Death Metal. Great story, man. Uh, of course, Batman, but the Batman Who Laughs, which is a mixture of Batman and Joker, man, it's a fantastic character. Man. If they don't do a movie about this, dude, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be freaking mad because these storylines to me are fantastic. So, yeah, Batman Who Laughs, the Nightmare Robins, all of that, man, love it. Uh, I got one. I don't know if you call this a trade, compendium, graphic novel. I don't know, but Hellboy. Uh, one of the characters in Hellboy is Lobster Johnson. Cool character. I've just recently gotten into him. What's cool about this trade or whatever you want to call it, compendium? Mike McNola, the uh, who wrote the story, picks these out, and it's to give people who may not know a ton about the characters, like an introduction and um, like an overview, so you don't have to really spend a whole lot of time. If you you know read the story, you got to go back and get caught up on stuff. So these are really, really cool, especially if you if you find a character you like, but you don't know that much about them. I will tell you, one of my biggest complaints early on uh, with comics, and I've heard it a lot, is people read these stories and then they don't know, you know, the histories of these characters. And, and sometimes they don't go back, but, you know, like 20, 30 years, but there's been so many changes that they give up because they don't understand the storyline because they don't know what happened maybe, you, you know, Volume 2, and you're on Volume 4, and you're like, this doesn't make any sense. So, I wish they would do more stuff like this, where it gives people a chance to read it and get this overview of it, so when they explore more of the character, they won't get discouraged. Because I'll tell you, it, it took a lot for me to, to figure out there's like 4,862 Joker uh, origin stories. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't keep up. All right. My buddy's a veterinarian in Virginia. Awesome guy. Every Christmas, he goes overboard and buys me and some more of his friends all kinds of crazy stuff. He comes down for Christmas and he's like, Santa Claus. I tell him, man, you can't quit buying me this stuff because it ain't cheap. And I know. And yeah, he makes good money, man, but he ain't going to buy this stuff for me, you know. But he does. And, you know, I, I reciprocate as much as I can financially. But uh, he got me groom number one for the Marvel run. 85? Yeah, 85. Uh, direct edition 9.8 did not have well I do have it but I don't have a graded one and to get a 9.8 just makes me happy not as happy as the next one though. he got me grew number one from Pacific the very first uh, grew uh, in his own storyline so 1982 I have one of these and I did get it graded it came back at 8.5 one of the things about mine is it has art inside of it so when I got it encapsulated, you can't go in there and look at the art. So now with this one, I'm thinking about cracking the other one open. Because, yeah, I mean, you know, two grooves, I guess. Number one's is cool and all, but I really like the stories. Most of the time, I do these because I got, like, you know, multiple copies, you know, or whatever. And so I encapsulate one just for display purposes and hang on to because I just like to look at them, you know. And uh, having the other groove, especially with the art in it, that I can open up. It's cool. I haven't done it yet. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about it. That's it on comics. <clears throat> I've picked up just a few things collectibles wise. I, I don't know what year this came out right here. It's a G.I. Joe. 12 inch. I think it's early 80s but I ain't 100. So if anybody knows for sure let me know. But there you go. I think it's is that Duke right? He looks like Aquaman in this. So I'm more familiar, sorry, I'm trying to block that light. Uh, I'm more familiar with, <laughs> he broke his back, poor fella. I'm more familiar with the three and a half, you know, from the 80s, but uh, the early 80s. And they did some of these in the 70s, but I think this might be an 80s, not the Medal of Honor or whatever they're called series where they're 12s, but anyway, I don't think this is 70s, I think it's more 80s. But the reason why I got it is because it came with this. From 1977. The G.I. Joe Iron Knight, baby. Look at this bad boy. Woo. I've been wanting this bad boy for a long time. And I come across it in a antique mall. So this is the Iron Knight 1977. Uh, for the but for the bigger figures that came out in the 70s, man, and I just love it. It's plastic, you know, but it's fantastic plastic. So yeah, I was just 
I was just moseying around an antique store looking for stuff, you know. I was looking for like some shelves or whatever. And I uh, come across this and I was like, stoked, man. So, yeah. I don't know if any of y'all remember it. I was born in 74, so I was only three when it came out. But I remember it in the 80s because kids had it. Or I say this, a neighbor's kid had it. And I would play with him. And he would have the 12 inches and I'd have the three and a half. So they would just fall in it, you know. But I always wanted it, so I got it. All right. This is taking longer than I thought. Sorry, everybody. I try to keep them short. Even when I enjoyed them. So, ED209 from Robocop. This came out, I think, last year. God, I gotta quit using that light behind me. It gets on my nerves. Uh, why is it? Why is everybody's bags broke today? Look at this. This came out Hyatt Toys, I think, last year. It may be, maybe the year before, but I got them last year. So I got ED209. And then I got, this actually came as a set. <coughs> and I got the Robocop. So that's the, that's the G.I. Joe size I was used to. But uh, I love the detail on these. Yeah, they're smaller than most of the other ones, but uh, I really dig it. And, you know, ED209 got, you know, lots of articulation for a droid or robot or whatever. And fully posable. I don't know how many points of articulation, but definitely elbows, knees, neck, hands, all that. So this displays in my opinion very well also got some um judge dread hiya toys that got came out about the same time but i have them in a thing i have to get them out so i'll do that one later uh is that it i think that's it yep so all right that's everything uh kind of awkward doing a video again i don't know it just feels weird but uh, I'm glad if you do stop by and look at it. I know a lot of you that used to watch have given up probably a long time ago, which I don't blame you. But if you do watch the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you have any of these, your opinions. Um, yeah, man. I hope everybody's doing good, man. Love love everybody. You know what I mean? Like, Be nice to everybody, man. Just try. Because it's, it's a rough world sometimes out there, man, for people. And you don't know what everybody's going through. You know, you just assume everybody's, you know, doing well and stuff. And then you get these, you know, you get this news and it just shocks you. And it's like, man, if I'd have known it, I'd have done more. The problem with my buddies, you know, from the Army is that we just spread out everywhere. Like, of course, the guy that got stabbed in Haiti actually lived in Tennessee, which is, I'm in Georgia. But he's going, he went back to Haiti. So, and, uh. One of the ones that took his own life was in Alabama, and the other one was in, uh, gosh, I can't remember, Maine. I think Maine or New Hampshire, somewhere there. And so, just rough, man. Love everybody, bro. You know, not, not everybody's going to be nice to you, cool to you, and, and people are going to hurt you, you know. Just be as nice as you can, and if you can't, man, just don't have them around. But if you got good people, man, and they're not local, stay in touch with them every once in a while, check on them. Just advice that I... Trying to get myself because I wasn't good at it. And I'm trying to do more about reaching out and talking to these people. Finding out how everybody really is. Anyway, I need to shut up. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Party out.